INTP on the outside and INFP on the inside. It's common for personality types to exhibit traits that are occasionally at odds with their outward demeanor. In this regard, INFPs and INTPs are not an exception. INTPs are fundamentally logical. They have a critical eye for detail and a vivid imagination, but they also take an analytical approach to the world. They would never pursue something if they analyze it and find it illogical. So, people may occasionally perceive them as insensitive or heartless because of this. They're also uncomfortable with their feelings and find it very hard to comprehend other people's emotions. As a result, these individuals often avoid emotionally intense events because they can't handle them. If you may have discovered that you're an INFP by self-assessment or an MBIT test, while these traits are listed in your dominant qualities, you may still find that you exhibit some INFP features covertly. On the inside, some people who are outwardly INTPs may exhibit INFP tendencies. We all know, for instance, that INTPs are rational and base their decisions on facts rather than feelings. But wouldn't it surprise you if your INTP neighbor offered to let you use his car to transport your children to school since yours broke down, even though you knew he needed it for work in 30 minutes? You would be startled and never anticipated, I bet. He's acting like an INTP on the surface and an INFP on the inside, as seen by this. On a typical day, most INTPs wouldn't give up their car on a workday for anyone. However, an INTP who behaves in this manner merely shows an internal INFP trait of compassion and empathy. The truth is that despite their extreme differences, INTPs and INFPs share some characteristics. If we take a surface level approach, we soon notice that these two kinds share three preferences in common. Introversion, I, intuition, N, and perceiving, P and differ only in their TF choice. A closer examination reveals that they also have significant similarities in the area of functions. By comparing their functional stacks, we find that both types of INFPs utilize NE and SI as their secondary and tertiary functions. Additionally, both use an extroverted judgment function, FE or TE, as their inferior and an introverted judging function, TI or FI, as their dominant function. Therefore, you might be an INTP with INFP tendencies on the inside if you notice yourself exhibiting traits like empathy, love, and concern, and occasionally make decisions without logic. Be neither alarmed nor horrified. You can be sure that you are an INTP if you've had a test to confirm it and exhibit the majority of the features that make INTPs identifiable to others. Please let us know your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Thanks for watching this video.